I be the ultimate Instagram sales agent using just many chat and N810. Every time somebody sends you a DM asking for an asset, the agent makes sure it extracts their name and email address into a Google Sheet and then delivers them that asset. After that, it tries to qualify the potential prospect for your high ticket offer. And if they are a good fit, it upsells them into it, all completely on autopilot. The best part, there are thousands of creators desperately looking for an automation like this because they would have a person selling for them 24-7, which means that you could easily charge them three to $5,000 for setting up the system. And in this video, I will show you exactly how you can do that step by step. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Damian and I run a school community where I help people like you create and sell automations like this. So if that interests you, click the link in the description and check it out but now let's start building the system now the first thing that you have to do is to go over to manichat.com and create an account which i will leave a link for underneath this video so you can access it immediately and then after you create your account you have to come over here in the settings tab click on it and navigate over here to the channels select instagram and you will see a button over here that basically prompts you to connect your instagram account so make sure you go and do that i have already done the step that's why i see this interface over here but you will probably probably see an interface something like this so simply come over here click on connect and connect your account and after you create your account all you have to do is to navigate over here in the automation tab and simply click on it and now as you can see i already have two automations over here but we're going to create a brand new one for this video so all you have to do is to come over here and click on new automation and then simply select start from scratch and this is going to open up this interface over here now do not get intimidated by this guys this automation is going to be super easy to build and also it's going to be very small the first thing you have to do is to come over here and simply click on new trigger. And now what we need to do is to basically tell ManyChat when we want the automation to trigger. So since we want the automation to trigger every time a user sends a message, we're going to come over here and select that option. And now we have two options. We can either recognize intention of a message using AI or we can detect specific words in a message. Since most creators actually tell people to type a specific word in order for them to be able to get the assets that the creator is mentioning in the video, we're going to go with the detect specific words in a message option but you can also select the ai option it's definitely not a wrong one both can work so i will simply come over here and select the first one and now what we need to do is to type in the word that if somebody types in our dms then our chatbot is going to be triggered and is going to communicate with that person in order for him to send him the assets so let's say for example a creator tells his audience to type in the word info to get more information or to get a specific asset all we would have to do is to come over here click on keyword and simply type in the word info and then simply click off of it and now as you can see we have successfully managed to add in the word info and the good part about this is you can also add in many other words so let's say for example we also want the word assets we simply come over here we type in assets and then we click off of it here and if we wanted another word we could also come over here and add it i think you get the point you can add in any word that you want and the good part with these words is that they're not case sensitive which means that if somebody for example comes over here and types it all caps it is still going to trigger it regardless of whether we have added an extra one so basically any way you type info and assets our automation is going to trigger all right now we have successfully managed to set up the trigger of our automation now what we have to do is to come over here delete this one since we're not going to need this so click on confirm to delete it and now what we need to do is to come over here and select action now again do not get intimidated by this this is actually super simple now all we have to do is to navigate over here and click on plus in order for us to add an action and since we want to make an external http request so we can basically connect many chat with an a10 we have to simply come over here and select make external http request so now that we selected that all we have to do is to come back over here and simply click on top of it which is going to open up this tab over here now as you can see we have a request url over here that is empty which we need to fill in and to fill in this url we have to go over to n10.io which is the platform we're going to use to create our ai agent and i will leave a link for it in the description below as well and now what we have to do is to come over here click on add first step and we're going to search for a web node is because this node is going to allow us to connect the ai agent we're going to build over here in an 10 with the many chat interface which basically serves as the mirror man and allows us to connect over to instagram so think of many chat just as the mirror man that allows instagram to connect with any 10 now we're inside this node and all we have to do is to come over here in the http method and change it from get to post since we're going to be sending over a post request and not a get request over to many chat and then all we have to do is to come over here in the test url simply click on it to copy it in a clipboard and then come back over to many chat 
and over here in the request URL, all we have to do is to simply paste this URL in. Great, so we have successfully done this part. Now, the next thing that we have to do is to navigate over here in the bad parameters, where we need to fill in all the parameters that we want to send over to NetN, which they are only going to be two. And specifically, they're going to be the user input and the contact ID. So all you have to do is to simply come over here and type in this small snippet of code. I will leave this small snippet of code inside my school community, so you can click the in the description join it and you will be able to get access to that or you can simply come over here taking a screenshot of this give it over to ChatGPT, tell it to give you the text and it's going to give you so you can copy and paste it and now what i basically specified over here is the user input which is basically the text message that the person sent us and the contact id which is a unique id that's different for every person so the bot can basically identify the specific conversation that it has with each person and if you're wondering how i actually managed to get this last text input over here all i did let me also delete it to show you was come over here in the add field and then i simply came over here and selected last text input which basically populates this value over here automatically and i did the same for the contact id i simply came over here in the add field and i simply selected contact id and as you can see it also populated for me automatically and now the last thing we need to do is to come over here in response mapping click on add and then simply type in this inside the json path again you can pause the video and copy it exactly as it is then over here in the select custom fields you simply have to come and select assistant reply and then come over here and click on save so now the final thing we need to do is to come over here take this and come over here and select instagram and boom as you can see this populates for us automatically so what we need to add over here is we need to type in a curly bracket and then come over here click on custom user fields and select assistant reply so that's all we have to select and now guys to test and see if this actually works all we have to do is come back over to n10 open up a webhook and change the respond from immediately to using a respond webhook node and then what we have to do is to also come over here click on the plus icon and change for a respond to webhook and inside this respond to webhook we have to change this to all incoming items because if we don't change this this is not going to work since over here in the actions if i actually open this up we use this json path and this specific json path is just for all incoming items so that's why you have to come over here and select all incoming items and now all we have to do is to simply come over here and execute this workflow which means that our webhook over here is going to expect to receive data and now if i actually open up my phone where i will also record my screen just so you guys can see and i will put it up over here in the interface and i will come over here and type in info and boom as you can see we successfully have managed to get data over to n10 and if i actually scroll all the way down here we can see the exact thing that i type inside my instagram interface which is info and also the unique contact id which means that we will be able to trigger the automation we're going to build over here in n10 and make it communicate with a person that is sending us a message on instagram so to do that we have to break these two apart and come over here in the middle and add in our ai agent since that is the main part of the automation and what an AI agent will enable us to do guys is basically use AI and also a bunch of different tools that we can give it access to so it can have the most amount of information possible and be able to complete different functions. We could for example say hey create an event in Zoom for this time and send it over to this person and it can go create an event in Zoom taking the Zoom link and send it over to the person over to Instagram. So I think you can see how powerful an automation like this can be. So let's actually go and build it over here in NN10. Now the first thing you need to do is to come over here and change the source from prompt from connect to chat trigger node to define below since we're not using a chat trigger node and now what i will do is i will simply say this is the user's input and come over here in my webhook scroll all the way down to where i have my user input over here and drag and drop it over here so basically every message that is sent in our instagram dms our ai agent is going to have access to so you can then go and perform all the necessary functions it needs to and now what i will also do is come over here in properties click on add option and add in a system message so what is system message does guys is it basically tells your ai agent how to act under the hood so basically it's all the backend instructions you're going to give it explaining exactly what it needs to be doing so to do that i will simply come over here turn this into an expression and open this up so you guys can take a better look at it and i will simply come over here and type this prompt over here now i know this might seem intimidating because it is actually pretty long but do not worry we're going to go over it right now now the first thing that i do is basically give it context and for this example let's say i am a high ticket coach who helps entrepreneurs 
entrepreneurs and professionals scale their business with premium offers and advanced strategy. Then I give it a bunch of more information about my coaching over here and I tell you what its job is. I tell you to first collect a person's email and name first before sending the resource, which means that basically every time somebody sends us the word info or assets because they want something that we have, we first tell them, hey, give us your email. Then they give us their email. The AI agent goes and puts it inside a Google Sheet. So we're basically building our email list like that. And then the AI agent takes the resource and sends it over to them. So that's the logic of this. And as you can see, I say after then deliver the resource. And then I also tell it to try to upsell because I say warmly introduce Damien's one one coaching offer as the next step. And then I also tell it always log and retrieve all the conversation details from Google Sheets because I will give this AI agent access to a Google Sheets node so you can then go and log in every action that it does so we can always go and take a look at exactly what it did and we're not just sitting back and guessing then I give it some Google Sheets instructions again you can pause the video and read them if you want I tell it before responding always retrieve data from Google Sheets to see if you have already gotten that person's email address and if you have do not ask for it again then I give it some tone instructions then some conversation flow instructions then how it needs to collect info I tell it to collect the email name but if they are already inside the Google Sheet then to simply skip that step completely then over here I give it the delivery of the resource so basically a link that includes the resources that that person is asking for and then I basically tell it to transition to upselling my one-on-one -on -one coaching and to do that only if they show interest so the agent is basically going to go ask some qualifying questions and see oh this person actually does qualify then it will say great here's Damien's calendar link so you can book a free 20 minute strategy call with him and if they're not interested I basically tell it or oh, keep it light no worries keep the resource handy if you ever feel ready to work with them directly just reach out and then I give it a bunch of other instructions which I actually got based on my testing because I tested this a lot and I found out that it was hallucinating in some parts so I basically came over here and told it to don't immediately send the calendar link to ask the qualifying questions first and to go and update the Google search every time now if you want this full prompt along with all the assets we're using in this video you can simply click the link in the description and come and join my school community where inside the classroom I have a whole asset section which if you open up and you scroll all the way down you will be able to find all the assets for this video over here so then all you need to do is simply come and download the JSON file which is going to be something like this or you can simply pause the video and take a bunch of screenshots from over here upload them over to ChatGPT and basically tell it to give you the text because you can also do that if you want so now let me actually close this off and now what we need to do is come over here and add in a chat model for the chat model I will come over here and search for OpenAI since this is the chat model that I prefer now obviously if you prefer any other LLM you can simply go and choose that and what I have to do over here is select my OpenAI credentials and if you do not have credentials all you have to do is to come over here click on create new credential and then go over to platform slash OpenAI slash API keys I will leave a link for that in the description below as well and then come over here click on create new secret key then simply give it a name I will name it example 2 and then I will come over here click on create secret key and boom this is my new API key so all I have to do is to simply come over here and copy it and then come back over to N10 come over here in the API key section and simply paste it in over here and then come over here and click on save and boom as you can see the credentials were successfully created so now you will be able to come over here and select your credentials and also for tomorrow I will leave it on GPT 4.1 mini and now what I will do is I will come over here in the tools and I'll click on the plus icon and I will search for a think tool and the reason I'm going to use a think tool guys is because this tool basically tells your AI agent to pause take a break and rethink of the answer it was going to give you which in turn makes him give you a better response so I would say any AI agent that you're building it is always best practice to use this tool and now the other tool that I want my AI agent to have access to is going to be the Google Sheets tool so make sure you search for Google Sheets and simply select the Google Sheets tool and then you need to come over here and select your Google Sheets credentials I will select mine on tool description I will leave this on set automatically on resource I will leave this on sheet within document on operations I will change this over to append or update a row and then over here I need to select the Google Sheet that I want my AI agent to have access to so I created this brand new Google Sheet that is called con and as you can see I have added five rows over here the ID where the AI agent is going to save the ID of the conversation the insta users message which is basically going to save the message that the Instagram user sent to us then over here the agent's message which is going to be the message that the agent sent over to that user and then also the name of the email of that person you can obviously set up your Google Sheet as you want but this is how I set up mine for this example so all I have to do now is to simply come over here and select it from over here and then not see it I will simply come and select scene number one since it only has one Google Sheet and then I will simply fill all those parameters 
parameter scene with AI. So now we're done setting up this node, but I also wanted to be able to retrieve information from inside the Google Sheets. So I will also come over here just for another Google Sheet tool, but this time I will come over here and select Get Rows, since I also wanted to be able to retrieve relevant information from inside the Google Sheets, so it has more context about a specific user. So now I will simply come and select on over here again, and I will come and select the seed number, and I will leave all the other options exactly as they are. So now our AI agent can go update our Google Sheets, and it can also go and retrieve information from them. Now you can obviously add in as many tools as you want. You could come over here if you wanted and give it access to the Zoom tool, for example, if you wanted to create a Zoom call and send it over to that specific client. Or you could also add in a Gmail node, for example, if you wanted to email in the assets instead. Like you can do a bunch of things. I'm just showing you how you can set up the structure of it, and then your only limit will be your imagination. So now that we're done with our AI agent over here, all we need to do is to come over here in our webhook node, open it up, and we need to come over here and change the test URL and change this from test URL to production URL and simply come over here and click on it so we copy it in a keyboard because we are actually going to have to set this automation and make it active from over here so make sure you click on cut it since we don't constantly want to have to come over here and click on execute workflow every time we want this to basically run automatically in the background so that's why we have to switch over the URL and also come over here and turn this active and the last change we need to make is to come back over in our manage chat automation come over here in the actions simply click on them we have to come over here click on external request and simply come delete the previous web url we had over here and paste in the production web url we just copied because if you remember before we had the test url just so i can show you how you can get the data over in n10 and you can visually see it now we switch this over to the production url which is the url that is going to allow us to run this in the background without us having to go and click on execute workflow every time so now make sure you come over here you click on save and you also come over here and you click on update so now i will simply come over here and type in info and i will send over this message and boom it basically is telling me could you please provide your full name and email address together so i can send you the resource right away so that is exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to say my name is damian and my email is and then i will come over here and type in my email and then i will simply send it over and boom as you can see you can also hear it because i have it open in my pc so now the ai agent is running and now it did send us a message with the asset as you can see over here now obviously this is a fake asset that just gave to the ai agent to send me but over here you actually have your real asset that the instagram user would want and as you can see it also asked me whether i would be interested in growing my business so if i come over here and type in yes it should start qualifying me and boom as you can see it is asking me whether i'm willing to invest in my business let me also say yes and boom Boom, as you can see, send over a link for me to work with Damian in one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is again exactly what we wanted. So I think you guys can see how powerful a system like this can be. You can obviously customize it and make it exactly as you want. This is just a small prototype. You can add in a bunch of more functions in your AI agent and make this super epic, which in turn would mean that you would be able to sell to content creators for thousands of dollars each, since right now there is massive demand in the market for systems like this. And if you want to learn how you can sell systems like this, you can click the link in my description and come and join my school community where I have four different courses showing you how to do exactly that. I show you how you can sell systems like this with Upwork, with cold email and by building an audience on YouTube and on Instagram and then leveraging this audience and selling them your AI systems. And these two methods guys are by far the best ones and for some reason I see nobody talking about them because with these two methods you're not the one that is chasing the clients, the clients are actually coming to you and asking you to build them intelligent AI systems just like the ones that we showed in this video. Plus you're also get access to all the other courses I have inside my community along with getting access to a brand new series that I have started which is called the build a 1 million dollar SaaS series where I basically document my process of me building my own AI SaaS which is a business that I have wanted to build for a very long time and it's the story of also documenting it exclusively inside the community so if you want to get access to that along with a community of 160 members and counting make sure you click the link in the description and you come and check out my school community and I will be waiting for you inside but now YouTube things you're going to enjoy this video where i build a one million dollar app using just lovable and n810 so make sure you go and watch that next and i will see you over there